Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. Okay, so get right into this video. Are you ready, students? <laughs> Are you ready, people? I used to hate back in the day when my teachers would be like, uh, people, people, <laughs> attention, people. Um, so I am going to get right in, I was just like looking, I was like, it's so shadowy, do I even care? Hell no, I don't care. I'm gonna do this video. Y'all, the lighting's bad. I could go turn on my light right there, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I wish I had the clapper. Clapper, clap on, clap off. Clap on, clapper. <laughs> Wait. Clap on, clap off. <laughs> clap on, clap off. The clapper. <laughs> Do you guys remember that ad back in the day? And then the lights would go on or off. <gasps> okay, so you're like, okay, we didn't come here for all this. We came here for the LGBT books. LGBTQ plus books, okay? And, you know, I just want to say that I don't really know what inspired me to make this video today. And I'm not going to sit here and list a thousand books, but I could. I could because I've read so many of them. Um, what's really funny is, or I don't know, sad even, is that I came out in 1990. I actually came out on June 29th of 1990, and that was my 18th birthday. Um, and it was something that was very decisive for me. It was important for me um, that, and I want to say this just because I think it's important. I came out as gay on, um, 1990, on June 29th of 1990. Um, just to clarify, so going forward, because we're going to talk about books that have bisexual characters, books that have trans characters, books that have asexual characters, on and on and on. And um, I have read so many fantastic books in the last two years that address all of these LGBTQ plus issues that I'm just like, ah. it's like the gasp of the gospel according to gay books. Um, no, but like seriously, you know, the sad thing, and I say it's a sad thing is because looking back, um, I didn't have any books when I was a teenager to normalize these feelings that I was feeling inside. And the reason why I was really thinking a lot about this was that I'm reading right now, I don't, I gotta make sure I know who this is by, I'm sorry. I'm reading Autobiography, and it is by Christina Lauren, and it's actually a really neat book. And it is about this Jewish kid that moves from Palo Alto, California, to his, he's bisexual and open to his family, to his very accepting family. And they move to uh, somewhere in Utah, I can't remember. It's not Salt Lake City, but they moved to Utah. Is it Salt Lake City? I don't think it is. Um, Provo, 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 Utah, is that what it is? Anyway, they moved to Utah and he's surrounded by people that are um, Mormon, that they are, for, you know, what do they say, the LDS, Latter-day Saints in the book and he falls in love with this guy that is LDS and so much of the book is talking about religious interpretation of you know homosexuality or same-sex feelings or you know attraction versus physical acting out and things like that it's very interesting and I'm really being educated and um, you know it's such a different take on a book and I think it's fantastic you know and I had just finished reading this book I just want to make sure that I'm getting these titles right that was very much like male male I wouldn't say it was erotica but it was very much male male romance and it was called Bear Otter and the Kid um, by TJ Klune and this book these series he has a series there's like five books in the series have supposedly won like Lambda Awards y'all know about the Lambda Awards the Lammies so those are like the LGBTQ plus books, and it's the awards they give out every year for it. I would die to win a Lammy, okay? I mean, like, that might be even almost, well, not as big, but almost like an Oscar. So anyway, but they always have, like, the best books listed every year in every section, children's books and everything. And um, so I listened to that book, and it was good. I didn't love it. It wasn't, like, my thing. But, um, you know, I think the thing is, is that I'm so, like, happy that our younger generations have LGBTQ books that are representing diverse characters, that are representing asexual characters and trans characters, you know, and trans characters that are just starting on hormone therapy and trans characters that can't get hormone therapy and, you know, bisexual characters. And this book is so fantastic because the main character is bisexual and he explains over and 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 over again what bisexuality is. Like if you do not understand it, he forces it into you by the end of the um, book and it's fantastic. Because what he says over and over and over again, it's like people will say to him, you know, don't you feel lucky because you're bisexual, not gay. And because you're bisexual, you could pick girls too. Why don't you just pick a girl to be with? And he goes, do you think it works like that? It has nothing to do, it's who I'm attracted to. It has nothing to do, I wish it were that easy. 
crazy. Um, and you know, it's still that societal standard of I wish I could fit in because straight is straight is right, which is such bullshit. Okay. I'm one of the proudest gay men out there. I am so happy that I am gay. I love living with my husband and my three dogs and I don't really care who don't like it. It's nobody else's fucking business, but my own anyway. So, you know, like to read that in a character that so understands his sexuality and proclaims it is just fantastic. And he has a bit of a coming out experience himself in there with friends and things like that. And it's just so well done. But it was making me think back on some of my favorite, favorite LGBTQ books. You know, earlier in the year, I read If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau. Um, that was about a trans um, young lady. And it was fantastic. I mean, ha! Huh, blew me away. And I just was reading a book the other day. And honest to God, I can't remember what it was I was reading. Um, I've like been trying to look through here to find out what it is. I think it might have been, oh, it was Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Okay, so we have pansexual characters, we have bisexual characters, we have asexual characters, we have lesbians. It is so fantastic, that book. We have gay characters. Simon makes a comeback in that book. I love The Upside of Unrequited. But anyway, I just want to make this video because I am constantly looking for newer books out there about LGBT characters, adult or adolescent. I love all of it. And I want to be more and more exposed to it. And I made a video called the A to Z of gay literature. A lot of people have done it and I will list it below, but I think I'm going to do it again because I've read so much since then. Like, you know, Dante and Aristotle, Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. I love Will Grayson, Will Grayson, you know, um, Boy Meets Boy, which was not my favorite, but I still, I like, still liked it. And David Levithan, oh my God, you know, such a fantastic writer. And there are so many, Sprout was one of my all time favorite LGBT books. You know, there's so many great LGBT books out there that I think that we need to start, you know, helping each other find what those books are, the lesser known ones. Um, there is this writer from Bloomington, Indiana, which is literally like an hour and a half from me. And, um, Mark Roder is his name. <clears throat> and I don't talk about him ever, but he wrote this book and it was so beautiful. And I listened to it on audible and all of his covers look like seventies porn, bad book covers. But this book was so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, this is one of the greatest LGBT books I've ever read. The book of David that I just read. So I think it's really important for us to talk more about LGBTQ books. And you know, so many channels devote themselves specifically to that. But I think for all of us as booktubers out there, because I talk about heterosexual characters, adult characters, married characters, divorced characters. I think it's important for all of us to continue to talk about the awareness of LGBTQ plus characters. And I would like to find new books that I am not aware of that are out there. So if you guys could leave me what your favorite LGBTQ plus book or character book is in the comment section below. I don't care if it's a book and it's just a side character. Just let me know in the comment section below so we can bring some awareness to those books. All right. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.